<laughs> What's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Shooting Gallery New England. This is another edition of the Fix Mag AR from JC Arms. Like I said, the only manufacturer in Massachusetts that's able to make a newly manufactured AR-15. Granted, it is a Fix Mag. Still don't know what we're calling this build series yet. But today, I know last video we uh, put in the safety selector, which it went together like a boss, and we installed the pistol grip. It's coming together pretty good. So today, what we're gonna be doing is, first off, we're gonna get down to the tabletop. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna be doing, and also, I'm gonna tell you what type of tools you gotta need to install the said parts. So, once we get to that certain point, we're gonna send you over to GunStreamer, first link in the description, Go to GunStream and you can see the full tutorial and then you can get all the links to any of the products, any of the tools, and any of the parts that we're going to be using on this build series in that description because YouTube just doesn't want us to live free, you know? Um, so today what we're going to be doing is installing the buffer kit and buffer tube, all that good stuff from Luth AR. And we're probably just going to, and all we're going to have to do is just put in the takedown pins, which... I think I'm just gonna do a whole nother video just to break it up for you guys, but enough of me talking. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Follow us on all the social media. Links are gonna be in the description. So let's get down to the tabletop and we're gonna see what we can do next on this AR build. And we're back down to the tabletop. Like I said, guys, thank you for joining today. What we are gonna be doing is we are going to be installing the Luth AR buffer tube, spring, and buffer assembly kit. And then we're gonna have one more video just showing how to pretty much install the front takedown pen. That's gonna be fairly simple, but you know, you wanna, I'm trying to break this up so we could have like every single part that we're gonna need possible to one separate video to help you guys down the road. If you're just trying to do one specific part to build an AR, this is what this series is for. Especially if you want to do the JC Arms Fix Mag Lower. Uh, I'm still waiting on some kind of build name ideas. I, I'm toying with some. Please make sure you comment below and let me know what we're going to call this build. So, first before I start really getting talking about the silence of the cell phone, because I think that happened two videos ago. Uh, so what we are going to be doing for tools we're going to need, obviously, safety glasses. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the GunStreamer account to literally get everything you can see here on the table. Now, let me focus this out just a little bit. That's good. Cool. So, like I said, if you need links to any of the tools, go over to the GunStream account for after as well for the tutorial and links. Now, we got safety glasses. We're going to use padded vice jaws, <sighs> tabletop vice. I, it's actually not really a tabletop vice. I should be screwing this in, but it's light enough to where I don't need to screw it in. This is, uh, what, what did I say it was yesterday? I think it was a, we got it from Lowe's. I'll think of the name probably right after I start doing this. Um, but we got the vise, rifle size bench block, needle nose pliers, just in case. And again, same thing, just in case, we got a 532nd inch steel punch. Look at that, nice punch right there. Then we also have a staking punch which I'm gonna explain what we're gonna use this for in just a minute. Uh, we're gonna be using the Silver Loctite LB8060 glue stick. This thing is coming in so handy. I love the glue sticks. I don't have to deal with any paste or liquid ointment, nothing like that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the gun trimmer account if you wanna pick this up too. And we, again, Grossi Hammer. The We have a rubberized pad and a brass pad to give you a little bit more oomph. And, and here is, what we're the bad mamma jamma we're gonna be using. It is the Wheeler multi-purpose AR-15 tool. I got this out of the Delta AR Essentials Armorers kit. I'm gonna have a full Gunsmith Alley episode on that kit itself. Um, and I'll go over all the separate products and stuff like that we're gonna use. So from there, obviously, we're still running off the CMMG Premium AR-15 lower receiver kit. And other than that, we pretty much got everything we need to assemble the AR-15 buffer spring, buffer tube, castle nut, all that good stuff. Now, like I said, make sure you have some 
safety glasses because you will be using, uh, working with detents and detent springs. You don't want that stuff flying into your eyeball. That's gonna be a bad time at the ER and explain to the doctor what that actually is. The whole bad thing, you don't wanna deal with it. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, again, tell you guys, go to the first link in the description below in the description of this video. It's gonna take you to our Gunstreamer account where this video is now gonna be live on Gunstreamer for the tutorial and after the tutorial, if you wanna pick up any of these tools or any of the parts, links are gonna be in that description below because we're trying to follow the rules of YouTube. So, without further ado, I will see you guys on Gunstreamer.